M0FXB Yesu FTX1. Let's install our Bluetooth module. So, on the side here, you've got two panels. One is for the SD card. I've got a 16 GB in there. And it faces forward. The gold bit faces forward. We've done that in another video. Now, to remove this cover, do not use a tool or a screwdriver. screwdriver. Just pull it up. So, imagine there's two teeth up here. And you're pulling here from the bottom. It's going to curve upwards. And then you just drop it down. The module is the BU6. Uh, it comes with a cover. I've got the BU5 taken out of my FTM150. So I haven't got the cover, unfortunately. But hopefully I can buy that. But anyway, um, unusual to have a HF radio that's got Bluetooth. So I'm very pleased about this. So let me just... I'm just going to get my nail here and just pull it towards me. It might go flying. And then I'm going to show you what that looks like. So we're just going to go here at the bottom and just sort of put your thumb at the top here and just pull. And there you are, it comes off like so. Um, I mean, even if you break it, you can be, you're going to get yourself another cover anyway. They're not going to be expensive. So look, two teeth there that slip in the top. You can see it just clips in there. Uh, and then so Bluetooth-wise, interesting how they've done it, isn't it? There's your module. This is the BU5. And we're just going to clip in the square parts, match them up. You are meant to put some sticky tape there as well. And now that does come with the with the BU6, so we're just going to clip it on here for now and then I'll just move the camera a bit closer make sure you turn yours off, I just realised mine's on, but turn it off you can see there, if you look in that gap, it's clipped in so I'd say it does need the cover, I mean look at it, you don't want that thing just dangling off, do you? Um, so, um, I probably won't leave it on permanently, I'll probably just leave it on while I'm doing this video to be honest, I just don't want that thing dangling there Okay, so once you've installed it, let's just back out. I've already turned it on, but we're going to show you. Hold down function. Tap operation setting. It's right at the bottom, and you need to turn it on, okay? So you just click done, and then tap here, on. Okay, it's, it's, that's already connected, I think. Let's just try it. Let's just see what selections we get here. I'm tapping it. Okay. Pressing. And then when we pressed, oh, it doesn't give, I'm not seeing any other options. Um, audio. Press. Hmm. I'm not seeing any other choices there at the moment. Uh, let's go back. Let's get some audio on here. I mean, it is lit up, the, the white Bluetooth. Let's see if we hear anything. Yeah, we are actually hearing it. I just held down the power here. You hold it down, it comes on, it starts to flash, and it actually automatically paired. So let's go back into the settings. I'm sure I know there's more we can do with this. I'll we'll hold it down, remember, uh, forward, operation settings, and go to the bottom, click done, and at this point you've got the option to turn it off and on. Let's go to device list, hit done. Ah, so this is where we can search, so I mean it's already, it's actually, I don't know how it's remembering what's been searched before, because I've never used this device on Bluetooth, I have used the Bluetooth module on other devices so it, I think the module might remember uh, so we just go search and then just make there you are. Oh, as soon as I pressed it it said connect connected so it's remembering isn't it so you would search click the one you want I wonder if we can delete it and then uh, I'll try and delete and then research yeah I'm not seeing a delete maybe they're gonna add these extra things but you can see it's pretty automatic, isn't it? So I did notice while I was looking at that there, that there was a GPS, so I quickly tapped it. And I turned it on. So if you go back. Now, of course, we're not going to get GPS yet, because we haven't got a module. Now, I did buy a little module um, that was uh, um, 3.5 jack. Uh, and I have got a converter that takes it down to 2.5, but I'm too scared to, to plug it in. To see if it works but um so if we just i'm just going to take off the bluetooth module because i just don't like it hanging around there but um with uh with the other 
devices I've got. You could select fix. So I'm just going to. I'm looking in the manual. I can't see it because if you did select the t one or the other, you could hear both. You could hear the Bluetooth module and the speaker on the on the radio at the same time. And the manual does does show that as well. Let me show you. If you look here, press function, operation, option, done, Bluetooth, select audio, um, and then rotate the function knob to either fix or auto. Uh, so let's try again. So we'll go hold down function. I'm actually following the manual. Operation, and then touch done. So we go down, uh, touch done. And then it says, select audio which we've done and then it says rotate the function knob or touch right and left and you'll get fix and auto so we select and look there you are so i would say that is a bug <laughs> we know that there are bugs okay so that's one of the bugs that they need to do because i'm doing everything there and then you'll get the fix and auto but they will you know they will do it I think I've so far found about two or three bugs so far. Uh, and of course, it's a brand new product. And uh, do you know what? I need to check if I've got the latest firmware. I think I have. We'll just quickly look. Someone messaged me saying you have got the latest firmware. So if I just go function, extension, there is an SD card in, and then software version. That's what I've got. So. I'm just reading it here. It says on mine, the main should be 1.04. Yep. The, I'm just looking at the software from Yesu. The display, 1.02. Mm. Uh, display, yeah, at the top. And the only other one they've changed is the bootloader one. Which I don't, do I need to change that? I don't think so. Uh, it doesn't mention bootloader on this bit, but I've got SDR 1.03. Um, so I think I've got the right one. I'm going to watch someone else's video who actually installed it and just check. But I'll probably do the the, the process anyway because I want to learn about how to install when you're using the bootloader option and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so thanks for watching this video. It's about Bluetooth 73.